Okay, uh, I was uh, in. I, I started to get involved with uh, anarchism by the way of the counterculture movement. So uh, I was involved with uh, some hardcore shows and things like that. And on that time, this was uh, uh, a youth movement that uh, discussed politics and tried to, to do some things. Uh, it was not so really active. Nowadays, um, uh, I think uh, it has lots of limits and everything, but it was interesting to start discussion politics, to start listening to music that talked on political issues and uh, this kind of stuff. And by the counterculture movement, once I saw a talk on the uh, anti-globalization movement, so uh, they were asking people to participate in some demonstrations that would occur here in Sao Paulo. It was the beginning of the movement, it was the, the, the beginning of the 2000s, so we were organizing and there was uh, an, an aspiration for the, the whole world being uh, involved with this uh, resistance things. And then we start to organizing here uh, in Brazil and specific in Sao Paulo. And then uh, I joined the, the movement, uh, this anti-globalization movement. I participate in lots of demonstration of acts and uh, all the activities that, that the movement uh, did in the beginning of the 2000s. And uh, then I got involved with one organization called uh, Ação Local por Justiça Global. It's kind of local action for the global justice. And uh, this was an organization that uh, mainly uh, animated or uh, influenced the, 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 uh, the whole medium through this uh, anti-globalization stuff. So we organized lots of demonstrations, we helped to, to, to build the movement. In fact, uh, uh, we was involved with this movement building here in Sao Paulo and in other parts of Brazil. Then I got involved with the Independent Media Center, Indymedia, and uh, in this process I was uh, getting involved with uh, practical work and also with theory, because uh, I, I was part also uh, of an institute called, uh, uh, it was an anarchist institute of uh, action and anarchist culture. It was a kind of a place that uh, all anarchists was meeting there and reading and talking and everything. So I just uh, got involved with anarchism. And finally I met Plinio Coelho, that is uh, the main uh, Portuguese translator of anarchist classics. So he translated uh, almost everything that we have in Portuguese on Bakunin, on Kropotkin, on Malatesta and stuff like that. So I met him and also he um, gave me some uh, inspiration for this reading and this involvement with anarchism. And this, together with my involvement with, uh, my involvement with uh, Centro de Cultura Social, it's Social Culture Center, that is a traditional anarchist place here in Sao Paulo. It was funded in the 30s and after it stayed a, a period of time closed and it opened uh, again in 1985. So uh, I went there too much time to, to see some talks or to participate in debates and I saw some important uh, movement uh, person speaking on anarchism. One of these person was José Carlos Morel. It's uh, a militant of this uh, generation that uh, restarted the, the CCS, that is the Centro de Cultura Social, in the medium 80s. So uh, I could see him speak and then I got interested, I started to, to buy some books and then uh, I got completely involved and uh, after I, I was involved with uh, anarchist organizations and I can explain you after these anarchist uh, period, 
But in this time, I was completely involved with anarchism, even participating in those uh, initiatives that was not specifically anarchists, as the, 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 the global resistance movement and Indian media and stuff like that. So that's how I got involved with anarchism.